Well, we got a little mini bucket. Got a little mini front loader. Little mini lawn sweeper. Little mini cultivator or tiller. And a little mini dump wagon. That's right. We're going to be purchasing the Alice Chalmers tractor. Now, so far on Mod Hub, this tractor has four stars out of the five stars and it has a lot of downloads. People are people are really tough on, on modders. And to have four out of five stars is insane. So this tractor must be pretty good. So... I'm gonna purchase this. There's a couple engine setups uh, we have here. So we have a, I think that's a 10, it's eight horsepower. I think this all goes all the way up to a 25 horse. I'll just go 25 horse. We'll just go 25 horse. Front loader attachment, yes, of course, since we need a front loader. Default, so dude, it has, it has two, you can either get two wheel drive or you can get four wheel drive. That's aftermarket, I don't know. That's gonna tear up the lawn. That'd be kind of nice to have for the farm. Maybe we'll switch out tires later. Default two-wheel drive. <laughs> you see, you can go four-wheel drive. This would be four-wheel drive. Should we get four-wheel drive? <laughs> Why not? Because we're going to be doing some tilling. I guess you don't really have to have traction for when you're tilling. But okay, we'll go four-wheel drive. This is going to be pretty crazy for a lawn tractor. But we're going to purchase this. And then I have all the attachments. Now we got to haul all this back. What the dude? This thing is tiny. Oh my gosh. But shout out to Tim Modding. Tim Modding was the one that made this. And oh, dude. Okay, okay, it's got a little different camera view than I'm used to. The camera view is just, maybe it's because it's so small. <laughs> but okay, so this is on my farming series, right? But we're just gonna be mowing today at the house. This isn't part of the mowing series. This isn't part of the farming series either. This is just kind of its own video. We're not gonna be doing any farming at all today. Actually, okay, so, well, oh, the one thing I haven't bought yet is a mower deck. I totally forgot about getting a mower deck. I was just pumped about getting all these other attachments. So we're going to get a mower deck. Now, when we do this, okay, okay. So you got Alice Chalmers 608 mower deck. You got a rear discharge, which I kind of want to get the rear discharge because you can use a lawn sweeper behind it. So I could be mowing and then the lawn sweeper will come back behind, sweep it up. And then what I can do with that is I can go dump that for the cows because we need grass for the cows so technically we are kind of doing some farming i think i'm gonna get i think i'm gonna get this one um is the mower deck white oh it is white okay i wasn't sure if it was white <laughs> we have so many attachments for this little dude um okay so i'm gonna drive over it <laughs> oh okay there we go that works too so we got our mower deck oh and then it lowers like that i see Okay, nice. I'm gonna hook up to the bucket here and then we already load all these attachments up yet on the trailer. Dude, and I remember during a live stream, some guy super chat and he was like, hey squad, you should really get the Alice Chalmers lawnmower for your videos. And I was like, I don't think one's out yet, man, but I would get one. And hey, some dude released it. Well, I guess, I think he knew V1 was out. This is V2. V2 seems to be a lot better. I haven't, I guess I haven't tried V1. Uh, so we're gonna connect to the lawn sweeper. The lawn sweeper holds a lot of grass, actually. It'll be kind of nice mowing. It'll be a little different. So, I gotta get the F-350 fired up. We gotta hook her up to the trailer, and we gotta haul this stuff back. Because right now I don't have a teleport mod, otherwise I would've, like, drove this thing down here, and the farm is actually a ways away from the cell point. Let me pull, put down the tailgate. We can actually hook this trailer up. I would be using a smaller trailer, but this is the only trailer I have right now, guys. Okay, <laughs> there we go. You think the Ford will be able to haul her? I don't know, man. It's gonna be a little tough. But, uh, just joking, by the way, um, we'll put the lawn sweeper, uh, actually, I think I gotta back all this up. I'm gonna have to back this up when I do this. We got lights on this Alice Chalmers. I think it's a 78, 1978 Alice Chalmers lawnmower. Here we go. I think a lot of people are gonna be using this, too. I saw a ton of people download it. There we go. Back her up. Oh, See, this stuff might go flying off the trailer, though. I got to go extremely slow when we drive back. We don't have any chains or, or ratchets or anything. Uh, I just want in the center. I really, I think we're going to have enough room on this trailer. Okay, dropper. Perfect. Next attachment. Does it have a, for the tiller, does it have a three-point, though? Like, how does the tiller attach to this tractor? I don't know if it attaches. Well, I guess we'll see. Well, first, let's get the little dump wagon. See, what I was going to do is I was going to cut it, then I was going to come back with the bucket and scoop up the grass clippings with the bucket, you know, just scoop them up and then put them in the dump trailer and then go feed it to the cows. But since we have the lawn sweep, 
we won't have to do that. Oh, and I could actually, it has a hitch on the back. I could get a couple, uh, couple of these trailers, it looks like. Dude, I remember first getting my four-wheeler. I had a little Polaris 90 ATV. Little Polaris 90 ATV, and then I bought this little cart behind it, and I used a little clevis to, to, to attach the cart to it. And I remember just hauling so many leaves in that little dump trailer behind my four-wheeler. I was like, I was just so proud of it, just like hauling leaves all the time around the yard. I didn't. I lived in town, so I didn't have like a farm or anything. Uh, okay, right, right there. Oh wait, oh we could attach the lawn sweeper. I don't want to attach. Actually, you know what? Just so they stay together, maybe I'll attach them. Just so they stay together on the trailer, even though that is kind of weird. There we go. Disconnect that. Dude, we might not have enough room. Oh, shoot. Come on. So this is four-wheel drive. I wonder if two-wheel drive, if the if the tires would be spinning. There we go. The deck must have been caught there. So we'll connect to the tiller. Should be good. I'm going to turn off the lights. There we go. And I can, I can just leave the tiller on here. Okay. Get up here. Oh no, there we go. We are, we're on. Okay, we got all the attachments. I'm gonna have to leave the loader like that. We are loaded up. Dude, you actually kind of needed a lot of trailer. Get this thing all loaded up. Okay, so I will see you guys once we get back to the farm. And then I'm just gonna start mowing because actually our grass on the farm is extremely tall. I'm gonna mow it all down. And I plan to give some of the grass to the cows. Oh shoot, is stuff falling off already? I gotta be careful that the stuff doesn't go flying off the side. Oh, this is gonna be a really long trip. The farm really needs to be mowed, and we did batwing some of that. So what I can do is take that grass catcher and actually just not even mow, but just grass catch some of that grass that's still sitting around, some of the dead clippings. So I'm gonna unload this. It seems like this is the always the 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 spot I always park my truck, just right along the telephone pole. I just always, for some reason, I have a habit, and I I like parking the truck here. I don't know why. So, we're up in the Alice Jammers. Get her going. Now, I don't think I should be having the loader on here while I'm... Okay, first of all, does this tiller work? Let's test out the tiller before we start mowing. Oh, shoot. I accidentally put it down. Oh, <laughs> this is going to be fun. Um, what needs tilled up? You know what this would be perfect for is... You guys remember in the farming videos, if you watch my farming series, sometimes along the edge of the field, I'll have corn that I have to bring a plow and plow up because the cultivator can't reach it. Like, for some reason, farming similar, it was screwed up along the edge of the field. There was corn that was standing, and you got to bring a plow to plow it up. But since we have this cultivator, I could probably plow it up because it allows you to create a field, does it? Oh, maybe not. It's a cultivator. It's not a, it's not a plow. I thought it was a plow. Shoot. Okay, well, let's see what happens here. I guess this is... Wait, oh, shoot. I, I planted this. This field's planted, but... It's fine. <laughs> oh, man. I just want to see what happens. Nice. That's cool. Okay. So we should have tilled that up. Let's look and see what it looks like now. I could create a nice garden out of this. It doesn't even look like it was tilled up. Oh, no. You can see You can see the path right here where it's tilled up. But can you create a field? I don't think you can create a field. That'd be cool if you could create a field. You can't. Oh, dude. You know what I could do? So I could put a bale spear on this little garden tractor and move some bales. Speaking of bales, somebody put a bale like on the side of the road or it went rolling out the side of the road. So the tiller doesn't till up ground. Like you gotta have a plow come up before the tiller. Uh, I guess that's reasonable. That's that's a good expectation, I guess. And you know, you don't just go to, some, some people will take a, a tiller like this and they'll go to just regular grass and start tilling it up, which is fine. But normally what you'd probably wanna do is take a plow and then come back with the tiller, I'm guessing. But it's cool. So we need to figure out where to put this tiller at. I wish I had a little... I think we'll just put it in this shed for now. We're gonna pull her up. Back her in here. Be cool. I could get forks. Oh, yeah. That's right. We got the gator here, too. So let me back the gator up. This is the shed of the farm materials. In case you guys are new at all, it's my farm materials. We'll open her up. Put... Oh, oh come on. <laughs> too fat. I need to stop eating those donuts. There we go. Little Alice Chalmers. Back her in here. Okay. Tiller is just going to be dropped right here for now. Dude, our, our 
our shop is actually getting full. And then, oh, what's nice is I got the grass, grass catcher and this dump trailer. So I can just pull them both off at the same time. <laughs> there we go. Connect to the dump trailer. Now this grass catcher and dump trailer, throughout the trip, or throughout the drive, ah, oh, shoot. I don't know why this does this. But throughout the drive, the grass, the grass catcher and the dump trailer were flying around on the trailer. I thought for sure they were going to go off, but they never, they never did. <laughs> so what I got to do is dump off this grass catcher right here because I'm going to use a grass catcher and then the dump trailer I can put in the, I can put in the shed. What the heck? That bird almost hit me. <laughs> that flew so low. <laughs> Oh, shoot. What the? It just keeps flying by me. <laughs> I've never seen a bird do that. I think it's going through the house, too. I've never seen a bird get that close to me, I don't think. Okay. Back this little guy in. Uh, it's 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 tough, too. I'm having, a, I'm having troubles, like, backing stuff in. Okay, right there. Now, I'll drop that off. We probably should drop off this loader, too, while we're at it. I'm probably going to use a loader soon, so I want to just have it ready to go. So I'll just just put her in here i think first person in the garden tractor looks sweet too so i'm gonna try to do a lot of first person guys it's just it's cool so loader nope bucket there we go oh, oh i think what you gotta do is you got you gotta disconnect both no so now perfect oh okay hold on i gotta actually get out and since we have the lift anything mod, I can actually lift this up. So I'm gonna, I'm just gonna kind of scooch the loader over. There we go. Perfect. Loader's good. It's, it's gonna get caught in the garage door. But we're ready to go mow. Now we got the ag tires on it too. Let me shut off this F350 because it is crazy loud. It's revving high too. Well, first of all, let's, oh, let's, let's just test it without the grass sweeper, grass catcher. See what happens. So here we go. Drop the lower the mower down, and it's mowing. You see, it leaves it behind. It doesn't shoot out to the side. It just leaves it right underneath it. Usually, this usually you'll have a deck that. Oh, dude, and this is a beast of a lawn too. Oh my gosh, another steroid user. <laughs> I'm talking about the lawn, by the way, because it's you know it's so tall. <laughs> but uh, okay, this will actually work good. Now you can get a deck. You saw, guys. I could purchase, or maybe you didn't see. I could purchase a deck that shoots it out to the side also. I purchased the one behind since we had the lawn sweeper. But now that I think of it, it's going to be a little rough. I could I could come back with a gator, but it's going to be a little rough, uh, like backing up when you have the lawn sweeper. So I got to always keep going forward, I guess. So I'm going to lift her up. Now I'm going to go put the lawn sweeper on. Should we mow? I feel like it's kind of weird mowing with a lawn sweeper, though. We'll see. And this, dude, this lawn sweeper, it holds so much grass. It's insane. There we go, got her connected. Now I'll just follow the exact same path and then eventually once we get to some actual grass that we haven't, start filling, okay. It's basically a mini forage wagon is what this is. <laughs> there we go, got a lot of dust coming behind us. Okay, now can I run the mower? I should be able to run the mower and this at the same time. And then you can also get a deck that doesn't create leftovers, which is kind of nice. Or cl clippings, grass clippings. Okay, turn on, uh, oh, turn on mower. There we go. <laughs> Dude, it's gonna be so tough to see because of this dust. Yeah, I feel like what you should do is you should mow the lawn and then you should come back with the, uh, the catcher. There we go. I gotta be careful backing up. With the garden tractor, it's gonna be tough around some corners. Just, you just gotta, I don't know. I have to take the weed whacker and get those corners. Is there a weed whacker for uh, FS19, by the way? Does anybody know? Oh, steps. Dude, my lawn is so overgrown. I'm just trying to maneuver my way through here. So we're at 11% full. And dude, when you dump this out, you guys should see how, how much grass is actually in here. When I can go to dump it out. There we go. Oh, it's kind of tight along here. 
perfect. I, uh, the thing is that I'm excited that I won't have clippings left over. There we go. Cleaning up the driveway. Not, okay, so so far everything's working good. Is it taking out bushes? Did it just take out a bush or I think it just ran over a bush? What happened? I'm going to turn around right here. We'll make a pass back. I'm just going to leave the mower deck on because I don't want to accidentally shut off the grass catcher or anything like that. Okay, I don't think it, I'm pretty sure it doesn't take out bushes. We'll see. This feels so realistic though. I like the even these poles, they just feel so realistic right now. Okay, the bushes, no, the bushes don't go. Too bad. I wonder if I nah, it's not going to work. I was thinking about taking the cultivator over the bushes, but the cultivator, you know, it, it won't work. That would be cool if it did, though. <laughs> Dude, this is just a monster yard, too. I love it, though. It's so fun mowing, like, thick grass. Like, you guys, if you guys ever mow, you mow, you're, like, I used to get excited when the grass was really tall. I was like, oh, this could be a nice lawn to mow, you know? Sometimes I'd just purposely wait to mow lawn for, like, two weeks just so it was really tall. It was fun, though. So with a, if we had a zero turn, I could get this done a ton faster. Right now with this garden tractor, I'm kind of mowing in the weirdest patterns too. Like it's, my patterns are extremely weird right now. What? It's getting the job done. The lawn's looking good already. I love how, I love how long our lawn was too. It just looks so nice now that we're mowing her down. Now the grass catcher, sometimes on some turns, it looks like it's not catching it in the back, which is fine. <laughs> Dude, if it could take down bushes, this would be perfect mower. Somebody needs to make a, a bush hog that can actually take down bushes. Oh, that'd be awesome. We're just demolishing this backyard. I mean, the bushes are going to stay here, but I've just been going around and around in circles. You can see that's all clean besides up by the house. But this is so fun mowing. It's just, I love it. It's, it's fun. The front yard is like half complete. But what I want to do after I finish this backyard, and it's tough, it's, sometimes it's tough to see the grass because of all these huge bushes. You can see I, it left some leftovers there. Or, it, uh, leftovers isn't the term to, term to use. Grass clippings. It left some grass clippings right there. But uh, once I get done with this backyard, what I want to do is to go dump this. Even though it's not going to be full, it's at 50%, it's still a ton of grass in here. It's 4,000 liters. Like this will, let's see, cows need grass, and I don't think we have grass in there for them. No, they need grass badly. So, this will work perfect. <laughs> you know, this is like part of the daily chores to mow the lawn, to feed the cows grass. Yeah, like I said, it is, it's kind of tough working your way through here. I'm just slowly getting it. But the yard is looking a ton better. And then when you turn really tight, too, Alice Chalmers is having, maybe it's because of this lawn sweeper on the back, but it's having troubles like getting speed when, when you're turning. I think we're done. Oh, wait, there's a little, there's a little grass in the middle there. It looks like there's some through here. And then there's some up by the shed still. There's a lot of different areas, like around the sheds. We gotta get some of the ditches. I, You know what, I may hook up the gator to this lawn sweeper and just go through the ditches with the gator and just sweep up some grass, because that, that'll actually work really good. So I'm gonna shut this, uh, you know what, there's some we can get on our way back over there. We'll just, it's like I said, like through here, it's extremely tough to see where I went and where, I, there we go. Perfect. Okay, I'm going to shut her off. Uh, let me shut off the lawn sweeper, too. I think it's off. I'm pretty sure it's off. Okay, so I'm going to go dump this. i got to figure out where to dump this, though. Because if I screw, if I accidentally dump it one spot, then i got to get, get out the loader and just move all this stuff. But we kind of got a little loader tractor now. We have we have one loader tractor, but I was thinking, I was saying we need to get another loader, tra loader tractor. Let me put this uh, deck up. There we go. So where does cow's grass go to? Does it have a horn? It does not have a horn. I'm assuming the grass grows in here. I hope I'm right. <laughs> oh, dude. I feel so small. Oh, shoot. Watch out, brother. There we go. We'll back her in here. If this works. Okay, so start overloading. Okay. I think it worked. Yes, they have grass. Nice. So I'm going to unload all this. Perfect. They have 4,000 liters. The cows are now, now a lot happier. So every single grass clipping we cut when we're mowing our lawn, we'll just bring over to the cows. 
<laughs> it may work out that I don't have to that I can just keep cutting my lawn and it'll it'll take care of the cows. I don't actually have to take a big tractor and mow to mow any grass. That'd be crazy if it worked out like that. So somebody's duty when we have a lot more people on will just be mowing. Mowing duty. Now I'm gonna keep mowing the back, but what I wanna do is I wanna see oh shoot. I wanna take the gator. I wanna drop this and then see if the gator will be able to uh will be able to, oh shoot, but we all got all those attachments in front of the gator. I'd like to see if the gator will work behind this, because that'd be cool to have our gator on it too. Uh, okay, what I'm going to do is, since I'm too lazy to move those attachments, I'm just going to fire up Big 8130, pull her out, or actually scoot her back so that we can get the gator out. There we go. We should have enough room with the gator. Like I said, dude, as far as like a, a review of this Alice Chalmers and the attachments that come with it, four and a half. Four and a half. I'm trying to think of an issue with it. Sometimes on the turning, that's probably it. Uh, that's probably it. Just it's a little slow on the turning. That's it. Like this perfect mod, pretty much perfect mod. So I'm gonna hook up to the lawn sweeper, and then also I saw he he put in the description of his mod like future plans with this. He plans to put a blade, so like to push snow with this Al Chalmers. It, I don't think it said snow blower on there. There's a couple other things he plans to do for a future update on this. Should be cool if I had a, had a blade too. So, like I said, all this grass is down here. How does the gator pull this lawn sweeper? Lower pickup. Ooh. We might, yeah, looks like you can't turn it on. You must need the tractor to do it. I was hoping this would work. Oh, you can raise the hit. Oh, you can raise and lower the hitch. Look at that. That's cool. But the, uh, yeah, I don't have a PTO on this. I guess it doesn't work with this. I wonder though, if I hook up a tractor, will this work? Cause the tractor, well, what's my smallest tractor? I'm trying to think. My smallest tractor is probably, oh dude, I should hook up the 9R. My smallest tractor is probably the 44. Actually, no, got the Alice Chalmers or the Model A. I'm gonna hook up the Model A to the Lawn Sweeper and see if this works. I'm just curious to see if this will work on any other vehicle. I know the the seven or this not the Model A but the 720 is starting up right now. I'm, I gotta hurry though. I actually have to get. I'm recording right now and I have to rush to class after I get done with this recording. I was kind of tight on time. I was like, should I record? Should I not record? Oh. There we go. Okay, lawn sweepers hooked up. Does it work? It does. <laughs> there we go. The 720 works with it. Oh, let me put that down. This is going to be my go-to tractor for this, maybe. Especially if we're picking up the ditches. So, oh, it says I don't have access to this land. We somehow mowed it, though. There we go. Now it's picking her up. It was. There we go. Now it is. <laughs> oh, I love the sound of the Model A, too. Where you can feel it so quick, too. There's so much grass through here. Because if you guys remember, I took the pat when I mowed all this down. Okay, I'm going to turn around here, though. We should probably get most of the main lawn. There we go, guys. This is going to be the end of the video. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. And if you're already subscribed, thank you. Thank you for subscribing. But thank you for being subscribed. So, thanks, guys. And I will see you later.